Hi, good morning everyone. Marie Barclay here from I Am Still Standing. I hope this finds you well. It's a um, it's a beautiful morning this uh, today. Um, I mean, every day is a gift of a day. So um, I'm actually coming to the end of my 30-day video challenge. And before I've even uh, finished that, I've actually given myself another 30-day challenge. And that is... Um, you know, to wake up at 5 a.m. or uh, for the next 30 days straight. And um, so what I'll talk about today is, um, you know, the 10 reasons why it's actually going to be seven reasons. Um, I'm going to condense it down a bit, but um, seven reasons why you should wake up at 5 a.m. Uh, you know, uh, there's just so many benefits you know you'll become a new person you will um, have a new sense of clarity uh, you'll have a new found confidence um, better health and um, and obviously you will also show up more purposely in your relationships as well which is uh, equally important so um, before I start I'm going to uh, just explain um, how to do it it's no point just saying you know wake up at 5 a.m for the next 30 days um so in terms of how the sooner you go to bed the night prior uh the sooner obviously you're going to wake up in the morning i was reading that um mark warburg i think he is the actor um he's up at 3 a.m every morning he spends two hours on himself at the gym and then he um and then he goes to sleep at 7 p.m at night every single night uh i don't do that but um you know i'm sure other people can and, and probably do so I'd, I'd love to hear your comments um but yes yeah, so cut out caffeine and alcohol obviously prior to going to bed uh and set your alarm and place it on the opposite side of your room um and if not in a completely different room if if you can um and uh you know the night prior as well i've uh, because this is actually my day six of uh, the 30 day challenge um so i have uh you know been writing down the night prior the things that i'm going to be doing the next day and um you know the the notes that i've taken say not to write more than three things but i mean i've been writing nine to ten things um each day and sort of getting through you know, perhaps four or five of those tasks um, as well. Uh, the other thing is the night uh, on the actual morning uh, when you do turn off your alarm, uh, drink a huge glass of water. Uh, you know, at least a, a glass or two glasses, and um, you know, whatever you do, do not go back to bed. <laughs> Once the alarm goes off, uh, which is something I used to do, um, and then put your shoes on or um, go into a new environment. You know, uh, for me, I go onto the balcony or I'll come downstairs, uh, you know, just go into to somewhere new. Um, someone I know actually goes into his car and sits there. Um, but, you know, whatever, however it works for you, I should have turned my... Um, my phone down shouldn't I okay so the number uh, the number one is uh, you know connect you, you will just feel more connected with yourself um, and your your purpose and and higher being uh, and, and your higher power sorry so um, you know at, at the end of the day uh, this is a quote by Prince every day I feel is a blessing from God and I consider it a new beginning. Yeah, everything is beautiful. Does that sound like Prince? Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Um, so number two is you'll have time for personal development and progress towards your goals more. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll also just read out an, another quote um, that life is not easy uh, for any of us, but what if that sorry what but what of that we must have perseverance sorry perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves we must believe that we are gifted for something and that this thing at whatever cost 
must be attained. And it's very similar to something that I wrote, um, uh, and that is having an interest in something uh, slash anything is not enough. You must know it, you must want it, you must love it and have the unequivocal desire to own it. So I'm so glad that I sort of, and, and I wrote that before reading this Marie Curie quote. <laughs> I also found out the other day that Marie Curie's, both Marie Curie's parents are were teachers and she was the first person to ever receive a Nobel Prize in two sciences. So incredibly smart lady. Uh, so number three is you'll get into a peak state, um, which will obviously influence everything else you do um, that day. And um, so if you wake at 5 a.m., get yourself connected uh, you know, you're learning and making pro progress, you'll certainly start to feel a heightened uh, state of mind and you'll have more peak moments, um, you know, and, and the peak experiences can become a normal and expected part of your day. So those moments of awe and um, gratitude, you know, those moments that you feel completely absorbed by the brilliance and, um, and abundance, you know, those moments of humility for how amazing life is, um, these can and should happen to you daily. And I can tell you that it definitely has for me, especially in the uh, last couple of days. And so number uh, four is you feel more motivated, um, you know, and with increased confidence, uh, and you know comes increased clarity and clarity comes from making decisions and commitments uh, and the more simplified your focus on specific goals are the more motivated you will be um, and so complexity and lack of purpose just kills motivation so you know my advice is to keep it simple um, you know definitive and actionable the more definitive and actionable your goals are you know, and the focus that you have, the more motivated you're going to um, be. And as your motivation increases, you'll also start to feel, uh, you know, pulled forward by your dreams um, and goals. So number five is that you increase your standard for everything that you do. Um, this quote has been attributed to Zen Buddhism, and I and I um, I'm a fan of uh, Buddhism as well, as being a Christian. Uh, but how you do anything is how you do everything. You know, have a have a think about that. Um, but you know, like attracts like, and um, you know you'll you'll have a uh, you'll have a higher vision for yourself. Uh, so your identity will be more powerful. You'll care about and love yourself more. So you'll eat better. I haven't been for the last couple of days, but you know I'm certainly working on that. You'll want to be better in in all your relationships. Um, you'll uh, you know you'll be much better in your work, <laughs> and you'll stop being so distracted uh, by meaningless uh, media and entertainment, which I don't really do. Um, and number six, you will sleep better. Yes, I know, by waking up early. Um, so I actually set my alarm for 4.45 and spend, you know, the 10 um, to 15 minutes, you know, just the, uh, you know, actually waking. <laughs> and so my day actually does start at five. So number six is you'll sleep better. And Gandhi actually said um, that each night when I go to sleep, I die. And when I wake up, I am reborn. Um, and you know what, on, on day number six, I can tell you that the last five days, I, I have certainly died, um, you know, and, and obviously been restored and reborn the next morning. Uh, number seven, the last one is that you'll be a new and better person. And I mean, what, how great would that be, you know? Um, I mean, I've, I've always uh, been a, a huge believer of uh, learning and developing myself to be the best version that I can be. And um, I'm just going to read one more quote. <laughs> uh, 
so the definition of hell, at the end of your life, the person you become meets the person you could have become. Uh, that's an anom uh, anonymous uh, quote, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, that, whoops, <laughs> that if you wake up at five uh, every morning, I've, I've just written down some notes, that's why I'm reading from them as well. Um, if you wake up at five for 5 a.m. for the next 30 days, you, you'll just want to do it for the rest of your life. And I know that it, it's a practice that I'm going to do. Um, you know, you'll have your eyes wide opened um, to what is possible for you. And for the first time in a long time, you'll actually feel alive and you'll feel a sense of purpose. Um, and you'll have accomplished so much in, in 30 days. I mean, I know in, in just the last two days, it's felt like a, an entire week's work of, uh, worth of, uh, of, of work. Um, but, you know, real progress isn't about getting stuff done. It's about getting the right stuff done. Um, it's about emphasizing the important uh, and you know, over the urgent stuff that you have to do. So if you actually give yourself some space in the morning, uh, you know, for uh, meditating, for prayer, for, for yourself, um, you know, and for exercise, uh, and give yourself that space in the morning, um, you know, you'll, you'll make progress on stuff that is important but not urgent. Then you'll have more freedom in your life. And eventually you'll stop having to deal with uh, the much urgent stuff at all, right? Your whole life will be purposeful and you'll be in less of a hurry despite the fact that you'll have extreme momentum. So um, anyway, I hope that that you've, um, you know, got some uh, tips and points from that. Uh, you know, I'd like to know what your, you know, um, you know, what you do and, and, and what you thought of those uh, seven reasons of, um, you know, starting your day at five in the morning. God bless everyone and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Bye.